Arsch geht's. We spent until Tuesday night making a hilarious Detective Pikachu and ugly Sonic cartoon when we realized that Game of Thrones, the biggest TV series of all time, was having its series finale on Sunday <laughs> and we hadn't made a cartoon about it. Whoops. Now we gotta write a new script, but writing is super boring to film, so here's some footage of a white walker instead. <laughs> 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 Alright, is that enough? Hope so. <laughs> Alright, we got a script, so next up is voice acting. Uh, but first, for the first time ever, we've got a sponsor. This week's cartoon and making of was sponsored by Cats. Cats is a new mobile game where you build your own little cat warrior, give him some dope threads, put him in a highly customizable death machine, and then massacre his weak and feeble enemies. Yes. You can even join gangs and conquer cities full of soy boys in the City Kings competition. The game's actually really fun. It's got like unpredictable physics that'll, let me tell you, subvert the heck out of your expectations. They've also got a special game mode every two weeks called the All-Stars competition that introduces different mechanics like the ground being on fire or even low gravity. It's available on iOS and Android, so check out the special link in the description below and get extra rewards that will give you a leg up when you first start playing. It's free, try it out. All right, thank you to Cats for making our dreams be memes. Um, let's get to work. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Okie doke. All right, hit it. And that's when I took David's cock out of my mouth and we asked ourselves, what if we could ruin Game of Thrones? <laughs> Can you um, imagine taking the cock out of your mouth as you say it? <laughs> <laughs> imagine taking David's cock out of my mouth? You know, you don't like slow your words, but hmm. just, just like have the image in your head. <laughs> like you're remembering it, you know? And that's when I took David's cock out of my mouth. <laughs> And we asked ourselves. And we asked ourselves, what if we could ruin Game of Thrones? No one would see it coming. So there's this moment in one of the episodes where the Hound says to Sansa, I heard you were broken in rough. That was foreshadowing of how we wanted to rape the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was good. <laughs> This is so unacceptable. Oh man, I get I get to deliver the, the my favorite line. That's exciting. <laughs> you get to deliver the fucking the coupe de gras. Joe Dempsey, who plays Gendry the blacksmith, really rose to the challenge of pretending Arya was super hot and not a bug-eyed goblin person. <laughs> really impressive. Fantastic performance. <laughs> Joe Dempsey, who plays Gendry the blacksmith, really rose to the challenge of pretending Arya was super hot and not a bug-eyed goblin person. <laughs> yeah, that was mean. <laughs> yeah, I, fe I felt that one on Macy's behalf. <laughs> um, I like Macy Williams. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, Macy. <laughs> She's fucking rich, who cares? Her feelings she seems, hurt. She seems cool, though. Whether or not I like Arya's character. What? <laughs> 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 Alright, I guess that's everything. Okay, so, a key ingredient to this cartoon is gonna be the mean fucking drawings of people. And I'm gonna show you a little of how it's done, so you can do it yourself at home and upset your friends and family. So, I start with something super quick and basic to really capture the essence of how I feel about this person. The head shape is the most important part. Um, in this case, David Benioff, Benny Benioff, has got these weird swollen elf cheeks that kind of define how the rest of his head's gonna go. The next most important part is the eyes. Dave's eyes are about a meter apart, but you also gotta pick your battles with caricatures, so I'm gonna go for that Neanderthal brow instead. If you get the head and eyes right, you should generally already be able to tell whether the rest is gonna work out or not. Next up is the nose, which in this case is fucking colossal and has this gross angular bump right in the middle of it. 
Then we move on to that tiny little jowly mouth. And voila! You have yourself a meme picture that might even get you blackballed from Hollywood. Right, um, we've literally got no time left to do this whole f***ing cartoon before the season finale, so... I gotta clean this up, uh, draw some more meme faces, and we will see you on the other side. Saturday evening. It's been about five hours since we released it. I know the way this is gonna be cut together is gonna seem like it was a breeze getting it together for today, but the reality is this was a fucking effort. I didn't sleep last night. I was up all night finishing this list. But anyway, the most exciting part of this release was for the first time since the Fortnite cartoon we made, sort of at the start of this spree of almost weekly short cartoons. We got more views the second hour than the first, which I realize probably doesn't mean anything to you. You probably don't give a f fair enough. But what this means to us is it seems like that you guys are coming back every week and watching our stupid sh So, thank you. Also, f you guys for not being patrons. Like, these swell gentlemen. <laughs> that was foreboding. <laughs> We've got a Patreon, uh, it's super helpful.